Hi, we will go through the entire pipeline of exporting your created asset, texturing it in Quixel Mixer, exporting the right PB textures for your project and then importing everything into Unreal Engine. Let's start in Blender. After you are done with your model, check if the origin point and the root location are correct. Then make the UV map for your model. In this case, I already made the UV map to save time. If you are sure that everything is correct, go to the upper left and click on File. Then Export and select FBX. FBX is the data type recommended by Unreal Engine. Now you can click on selected objects if you have a larger scene and want to export only the objects you selected. In my case it doesn't make any difference since I only have one object in the scene. Then go under Geometry, click on Smoothing and select Face. If you don't do that you will get a warning when importing into Unreal Engine. You can also set this as a default in the Blender settings. Then give the asset a name and click on Export FBX. That was the part in Blender, let's move on to Quixel Mixer. After you start Quixel Mixer, you can create a new project. The project is only for sorting and has no influence on the textures. After that click on New Mix in the upper right corner to set up a texture set. Then you can give the set a name and choose the resolution you want to work with. After you are done with texturing, you can still choose in which resolution you want to export the textures. This resolution is only for the work in Quixel itself. Once in the editor, you can click on Type in the upper right corner, under Setup and then select Custom Model and select your exported FBX file. Now you can start texturing, but I will skip that for this video to save time. When you have finished texturing your model, you can click on Export in the upper right corner. At the bottom right you can see which textures are exported. But you can customize them to your project by clicking on Advanced Texture Maps. Here you can now delete textures and add new ones or make complete custom textures. When you are done you can click on the paper sheet on the top right next to the word Modified and save your preset. I personally often use MRE textures, you can see them here. Here you can change the name of the textures and above you can change the export location. When you are done you can simply choose the resolution on the bottom right and then click on export to disk to export your textures. Now we have everything we need. For the material instance, I use a very simple master material that looks like this. Now you can simply drag the FBX file into the content browser. After that you will get options to import the FBX file. You can customize it to your project. If you want to use Nanite, you can click on Build Nanite at the top. But what I definitely recommend is to select under Material Import Method, do not create material, because we already have a master material. If you are done, just click on Import or Import All if you have multiple 3D models. After that, your 3D model should be in Unreal. Now you can take your textures that you made in Quixel and just drag them into the content browser. If everything worked, you can right click on your master material and create a new instance. After that, you can simply drag all your textures into the slots. Next, you just have to drag the instance into the material slot of your 3D model and you are done. That's it for the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye!